It's like showtime. When you walk in there, it's like showtime. The kitchen is lit. Everything is just it's beautiful. Cooking is a very humbling experience. Like, on the end of it that I'm at. Like, as a line cook. But it's like you just hope in the back of your mind, like, it's all, all pay off. I was so homesick when I first came up here. When I was in Philly, I was heavy in my church, like, everything was at home. I wanted to come up here and bust my ass. Like, I wanted to work, but it's tough. You know, we don't get paid a lot. There are times, like, with my roommate, I'll be like, I'm short. I got you next week. I've been at this restaurant now for over a year, and it was like the, it was the best decision I ever made. Right when I came in, it was like, here comes three stars from New York Times. Boom, James Beard Award. Like it was just like boom, boom, boom. Like it was just like, whoa, this is New York. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is the kind of kitchen that I want to be in. This is what I need right now. The kitchen is kind of set up in like a U shape. All the cooks kind of we face each other. Chef Justin Bogle, that was the only line cook that he had hired from Philly. I call him Pop or Dad. This is my last night on Fish, so I'd be training John to take over as I move up to meet Entremet. Chef fires it. He'll say fire 52, 22, 55, 16. Those are, the t those are the tables. You look, you have your board, and you'll hear us yell out times. How, how much time you need? Oh, you need four? All right, cool. Four, four. Four out on 55. Ready? Yes. Everyone's like, wait. Wait! It's like, you've got to be ready because the flow goes and we get busy. And when, we're, when it's a busy first seating, You've got to be ready. I would say I'm a different person inside and outside of the kitchen. The ki some of the kitchens I've been in have been really tough and they've been all male. And you know, being a woman in this industry, you have to have thick skin. Yeah, to <laughs> have humor. For sure. <laughs> I've cried too many times to gal in that kitchen. You don't see black women in fine dining. You don't see black women that much, which is crazy. You don't see black women that much in cooking that much at all. Every person that has ever taken the chance on me has been a white male. And you don't see yourself. I do want my own restaurant one day. I'm 31. Like, I think I'm the I'm the oldest line cook, and then most of the other 30 somethings are all chefs. It's crazy that I think about it a lot, but I want to have a family. It's not like these men that I'm looking at, like you know, like Justin for example. You know, he's gonna ha he's about to have his second kid. Watching him and how his life is, I'm like. Could I replicate that as a woman? I don't know if I could. You know, I don't know if I can be at 2 a.m. getting home to my husband at like 3 a.m. Maybe the next chef that I work for will be a female chef just so I could see. Or just be that woman, I don't know. Uh, but I need to find that woman who I can look at and be like, yes, you did it. And you're still able to balance and be this awesome chef? Hell yeah, minute. But until then, um, trying to make it up as I go.